Life is a winding road. No telling where it goes. Hello everybody. Welcome back to the vlog or welcome if you are new. I know I have some new subscribers on here, so welcome. Uh today we are it is Saturday. And I am drowning in shirt orders right now. I have so many shirts to get done. But first, I want to get dinner in the crock pot. Then I'm going to get some shirts done. And then we have to go um, shop. We have a friend's kid's birthday party today. So we have that to go to. It's actually pretty chilly out. I'm wearing a tank top just tucked in the front that says Mama on it. That's from Target. This is a universal thread uh, button-up shirt. And I just left it unbuttoned. And then I'm wearing Old Navy skinny jeans. So... A little outfit of the day for you. I haven't put any jewelry on. I don't even have my nose ring in yet. It's just been kind of a crazy morning. We went out to the diner for breakfast and it was very good. But now I'm gonna go and get dinner in the crock pot. I have a really good recipe I'm excited to share with you guys. So I figured I would film it. Let me turn the light on, it's a little dark. I figured I would film the recipe uh, for you quick and just kind of explain what I'm doing. Kind of just throwing it together. I found this recipe on Trey Chic Mama, Haley Spears channel, and it looked really good. It's a comfort meal, but it's kind of chilly today. It's been chilly in upstate New York. It's been like 60s, which is crazy for August, but I am living for it. I know it won't last, but I'm gonna open the windows get some fresh air in. We've had the ACs off, which has been amazing. Uh, but anyway, let's get this crock pot meal started. I'm so excited. It's gonna be so good. Okay, star of the show is here. All right, so when I open the fridge, <laughs> an egg fell out and went all over my floor and if you follow me on Instagram you'll know that a whole dozen of eggs fell out on my floor the other day so I've just had really bad luck with the eggs and this was the one left that didn't break so now it's broken as well that was just a bad luck batch of eggs all right now I'm going to cut one onion you're gonna use a whole onion I just had a white onion on hand so I'm gonna go ahead and dice that up and add it to the crock pot Next, I'm going to go ahead and add my chicken. My chicken was frozen in the freezer. I like to buy it in bulk, wash it, and then put it in freezer bags. So I'm gonna add two big chicken breasts. You could also add tenderloins if you want. You're just gonna end up shredding it up when it's all finished cooking. And now I'm going to add some chicken stock. Trey Chic Mama's recipe called her chicken broth, but I think stock has just a little bit more flavor. So I'm going to add, I added about half of the container, but then at the end you'll see I'll add a little bit more because I just felt like it needed more liquid. So this is what it looked like, and I went ahead and put some salt and pepper on the chicken. Now I'm going to add some onion powder. I didn't measure any of my ingredients. I kind of just added until I thought it looked good. I added some Italian seasoning. And this is when I put a little bit more chicken stock in the crock pot. Now you're gonna add one can of Campbell's cream of broccoli soup. Go ahead and throw that right in the crock pot with all your other ingredients. Put your lid in and you're gonna cook this on high for about six hours or until the chicken starts to fall apart. You'll be able to tell when the chicken is done. Now I am taking the chicken out and I'm gonna go ahead and shred it. And I don't know about you, but I always shred my chicken with a mixer. It is so fast and so easy, so much better than pulling it apart with a fork. And that is the easiest way to shred up chicken. Okay, we're gonna add that. We're gonna add one can of corn. 
a cup to like a cup and a half of cheese because cheese is delicious. You're gonna add that right in. I already drained the corn, so that's good. And then you're just gonna kinda eyeball it and add in the rice. I got instant brown rice. Instant I prefer just because it'll be done really quick. You could really use whatever rice you want, just cooking times may vary. So I'm gonna go ahead and add that in and then I'll show you guys what it looks like. Probably added about a cup and a half and it was way too much and it made it very dry so I wouldn't add that much. And then I threw in the shredded chicken I'm gonna add the cheese. I used whatever was left in the bag. It was probably about a cup and a half. And for some reason, I didn't get the footage of me adding the can of corn. I just had the small can of corn and I went ahead, drained it, and threw that in the crock pot as well. I wanted to pick up the camera and vlog today, but it was kind of crazy. Paisley and I had a girls' day with my mom, and I say girls' day, but we literally just went to Target, Taco Bell, Home Goods, and Wegmans. And the only stuff I bought other than lunch at Taco Bell was stuff at Wegmans. But I figured I would give you guys a grocery haul from Wegmans. It's kind of just like a weekly grocery haul. We honestly we get groceries every two weeks, so I try to stock up so that way we can have enough for two weeks. So I will show you everything we grabbed and then we'll kind of just get back into the vlog. So do a little impromptu. I'm already in comfy clothes. Literally I got home and changed into one of my Julie tees and some sweatpants because I just, I needed to be comfortable. And we're gonna do a pizza night tonight with the kids and it's just gonna be kind of chill. Weston is having a sleepover at my mom's. Tomorrow is the day that she's taking all the kids so I can get some stuff done. Plan on filming another cleaning video for you guys. It's done really well and you guys have enjoyed it. So I'm gonna film another one of those. But for now, let's get into the grocery haul. All right, if you hear a machine outside, it's because Ryan's actually doing work outside. So. That's that. But anyway, here is the grocery haul. I went to Wegmans, got my dad a birthday card because his birthday's in a couple days. So I got that. Grabbed some sparkling ice drinks. These are so good. And I think I'm going to have one for dinner tonight. So I'm going to throw this one in the fridge. Okay. Got some breaded chicken. It's fully cooked. So honestly, you just throw it in the um, oven to warm it up. And we're going to do some KFC bowls. So I got those. I got some ranch. We've been out of ranch. The kids love Ken's. <laughs> I got some of these dark chocolate hazelnut cups. Um, just kind of for, for a sweet fix for me because it's going to be that time of the month, if you know what I mean. So, got some peanut butter nuggets. Ryan loves these. Got some cheese puffs for the kids. Gotta have the Oreos in the house. Got some of their grandma's spaghetti sauce. This one is really good if you want to just quick dinner night. I love to throw this on ravioli or spaghetti. And I picked up the seasoning. It's a smokehouse maple. I thought that might be good on some chicken or on pork chops. I'm honestly not sure, but it sounded good. Grabbed a bunch of yogurts. I like the, where is it, the honey low fat blended honey yogurt with a little bit of peaches in it. Oh my gosh, it's so good, it's like a dessert. Got some orange cream and vanilla, the kids love van vanilla, and then I figured I'd try this one, the banana vanilla with the kids. Got some coconut dreams, these are mama's cookies. These are my favorite. <laughs> uh, got some plums, I love plums in the summertime. I have a plum tree, but actually it hasn't produced. All the plums that uh, grew on it this year fell off, so. That was a bummer. Got some peaches, because our peaches won't be ready until the end of August, so I just grabbed a handful of those. A few kiwi, these were two for a dollar, I think, so I got four of those. I got some broccoli and asparagus. Love these, and I need to eat more greens. According to my doctor, my cholesterol is high, so I need to eat more greens. Got some baby medley potatoes. These are my favorite. They're kind of like the uh, mixed potatoes. Some molasses cookies, the kids and Ryan love these. Some wheat thins. I got chicken and biscuit crackers. If you guys have been watching a while, you know these are Paisley's favorite, so uh, she's already dug into them. Yeah, they are. <laughs> I got some buffalo chicken sandwich meat and some bologna. Love those for sandwiches throughout the week, as well as the kids. 
I grabbed Ryan some French vanilla muffins, an 18 pack of eggs. I grabbed some sushi for me tomorrow for lunch. For when I'm cleaning, it'll be so something super quick and easy I can just have real quick. I grabbed five cheese garlic toast for spaghetti night. I got these for Grant. I mean, honestly, he's a little bit big for these now, but he still likes them. And they're just kind of a good snack for him. Gatorades are one thing Ryan requested on the grocery list. So I grabbed some of those for him. Some whole wheat English muffins. I like these for breakfast sandwiches in the morning. A little impromptu Grant splashing in muddy puddles. What are you doing, Grant? Careful. Oh my goodness. <laughs> You're too much. Careful. Okay, so I think I left off around in here. I like to use these for some breakfast sandwiches in the mornings. Some cheese that snapped. Weston really likes these. He typically likes the sour cream and cheddar ones, but this is what Wegmans had. So, got some Coffee Mate hazelnut creamer. This is a staple of mine. Ryan's favorite popcorn. He's picky when it comes to popcorn. That's what he likes. I got whipped cream, and I didn't realize I got light whipped cream, so I'm sure it'll be fine. It's, I feel like that's the one I always grab is the red one, but I guess I've just never even noticed. Uh, three things of milk. We go through milk like crazy. I swear we should get a cow, but that's that. Some muffins. The kids have already dug into those. The blueberry muffins are our favorite. And then some honey wheat bread. So that is everything we got for our grocery haul for about a week and a half to two weeks. It's just kind of some stuff to uh, stock up on, things we've been out of and whatnot, so. And like I said, I went to Target and this is literally all I picked up. Um, I needed some more body wash and this is like, I feel like it's just like the Dove body wash, so I just grabbed that. All right, sorry guys, uh, Ryan had to show me something. Grant's out there helping him work. But anyway, I grabbed some body wash, some all-purpose cleaner. We are running out of that, and I haven't been able to get my thieves. I've just been like uh, a little bit occupied and not thought about it, and I'm completely out. So I got the Honeycrisp Apple, which is a favorite of mine, and then Method Glass Cleaner. I like the Method products at Target. They work great. So that is everything I got at Target. All right, I'm going to set you guys up. I'm gonna put all these groceries away, preheat the oven for pizza night, and we have these. I'm gonna show you. I don't know, I've never tried them, but where are they? They look really good. The box is a little destroyed from our freezer. We haven't even opened them yet, but they're the Red Hot Chicken Buffalo Boneless Chicken Bites. So I thought that would be kind of good to put on the side with the pizza. Um, I would do a salad, but I forgot to grab lettuce, and I'm so mad at myself. I have lettuce in the garden, but the lettuce from the garden is good if you like mix it with a little bit of romaine. You need a little bit more of a crunch. So, um, gonna have to go to the local grocery store and get some romaine this week. But, yeah. Let's put these groceries away. I've got this feeling. I'm feeling you could be the one. I see no reason why I should ever let you go. Don't wanna wake up if I'm dreaming Because you know I can't get enough Of this feeling you're giving me Don't wanna wake up no, I don't wanna wake up I don't wanna wake up without you Baby, without Sometimes I forget to breathe 